Welcome to another Sir James D. Tech video. Today I will be doing the unboxing for the Eureka 6 gigabit per second PCI Express RAID controller card. Alright, here you can see I'm back in my old haunts with the Corsair 800D again. The half X esta out of here. I just could not get over that CPU backplate cutout. Not with the amount of stuff I've got coming up. Alright, here we go. Now, as I mentioned, this is SAS, SATA, and solid state drive compatible. 6 gigabit per second, which currently only Crucial is making a 6 gigabit per second solid state drive. Oh my god, look at the size of this manual! Whoa, this looks like an absolute Bible. Anything you ever want to know about RAID controlling. Look at how exhaustive this is. Geez, I'm going to need a while to soak all this in. You can see it's got a nice foam top for protection of the RAID card. And here we go. It is PCI Express 2.0 8 and is also compatible with PCI Express 1, 4, and 16. The onboard cache is 512 megabytes of DDR2-800. I.O. processor is radon chip or ROC 800 megahertz and as you can see it has two SFF 8087 internal connectors and it is a high profile bracket directly out of the package and they've shipped along a low profile bracket as well and here we have a SAS cable included however Arika did me a huge favor by sending me two SAS to SATA adapter cables. So each SAS port can connect to four SATA drives, or in this case, Vertex Turbo Solid State drives. All right, let's go over the layout of the Arika 1880i. Where I'm pointing to is the battery backup module connector, and that battery backup module is not included. You have to purchase that separately is an individual activity HDD LED header. Directly above that is a global fault activity LED and just below that is an individual fault LED header. There is an Ethernet port, the manufacturer purpose port, the I2C LCD connector, and here we have the 1880i's BIOS chip. Now this controller card will support RAID 0, 1, 1E, 3, 5, 6, 10, 30, 50, 60, single disc, or JBOD, which means just a bunch of discs. And it can support up to 128 6 gigabit per second and 3 gigabit per second SAS, SATA, and solid state drives. But as you know, all I've got is 3 gigabit per second OCZ Vertex turbos. And I added a fourth turbo especially for this review. Now, underneath this 40 millimeter fan is the ROC 800 megahertz I.O. processor. No specific date yet for retail release, but I do know that it will support Windows 7, Server 2008, Vista 2003, XP, Linux, FreeBSD, Solaris, Mac, VMware, and more. Now, in case you're wondering, Applications that benefit most features from these adapters include NAS, server RAID solutions, supercomputing, near-line backup, security systems, digital content creation, streaming video, and cloud computing applications. Now, Because the Eureka 1880i has not been released retail yet, the software and driver CD, which will normally be included with packaging, is absent. There's a low profile bracket again. And my new Bible for the next couple days. <laughs> Once again, here's the SAS to SATA adapter cables. I'll be running these into my four OCZ Vertex turbos. And then for the review, I'm going to do several benchmarks with just the EVGA Classifieds onboard ICH-10R RAID controller in RAID 0 and also RAID 5, and then I'm going to hook in the 
Arika 1880i, do a fresh install of Windows 7, run those same benchmarks in RAID 0 and RAID 5, and then show you the performance differences. So thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Again, please subscribe to Sir James D. Tech and also become a member of the SirJamesD.com forums. I have got a lot of excellent products just sitting here and also products from major companies on the way just waiting to be reviewed. Also coming after the 1880i review, I will be releasing details for my next giveaway. So trust me, you aren't going to want to miss any of that. So please subscribe. So it looks like i got a lot of work to do between now and the review. I thank you once again for watching. And I'll see you at the review. Talk later.